So welcome back folks on this grim, miserable, rainy November day. But hopefully this will cheer you up. On auction with no reserve, it's just landed. A 90, I'm not sure it's an 89 or a 90. I don't think we're going to quibble over 28 to 29 years young. Swift Contiki 600-5. So in other words, it's the 600 model and it's five berth. Last owner of five years, unfortunately, has passed away. So it's been going through bro probate for the last few months and now the logbook and all the paperwork is correct in his late wife's name or her name rather so I've got the logbook present not much in the way of service history I'm going to chase something up because I've found out that the last five MOTs have been getting done at a local garage in Southport where it was owned so I'm just going to go to that garage show I'll update the listing hopefully I'll have the information so assume no service history and hope for the best. Uh, 2.5 turbo diesel, no power steering. So just be wary of that folks, a little bit heavy when parking up. But as soon as you're uh, driving, she's fine and dandy. This particular one can actually get an electronic power steering upgrade. Well, that's something for you to consider. Yeah, nice winter project. It's got a little bit of water ingress on the other side, on the driver's rear corner, just in the shower tray, but we'll come to that shortly. Let's have a look on the outside. Uh, she's not bad at all, really. I've seen a lot worse. So here, it's not through to a hole, just a little bit of surface. Again here, not through to a hole. I think that's the worst. And the front wing. So clearly that could do with some attention that's the worst part on the whole of the vehicle but have a look at the MOT history please I'll do a picture showing all the green marks but search that registration number Golf 916 Victor Papa Papa online and that will give you the information would you believe I think it's only had two advisories or two failures in its whole life the last 10 MOTs have flown through with not a single advisory. I think the last advisory was a wiper blade in 2008. Incredible. A little bit of surface rust at the front, but that's about it really. Underneath she's lovely. I picked it up. The battery was not so good. So I've just put on a Halfords four-year battery. That's second hand, so that's not a new one. But I'm, that came off another motorhome that we sent to auction. Um, so that was about six months old. So yes, yeah, she's got a four four-year guarantee Halfords battery, and she's starting on the button now. Nice and dry. Look at that engine. All nice and solid, really. Please remember, she's 29 years young. Cracking little winter project this. Just pop the bonnet down. Uh, Bodywork on the rear. Nothing really negative to report. There's the odd little battle scar. I don't think nothing that we need to write home about. A little mark here, just in the centre here. Someone looks like they put some chemicals on or cleaned it. I don't know whether that'll tea cut out or scrub out. But no, all over, not too bad. A few little rum marks there, but don't forget the water's been trickling down there for 29 years. All in all, not too bad at all. Right, so this corner has had some water ingress. Now, I've just had a quick pop on the roof. On the roof, there's actually a drain that comes from the rear, has a rear compartment there for putting your bits and bobs on top. Um, and has two drain holes there. Now, that drain hole was blocked. So I've cleared that with a pressure washer, just the drain hole, not the, and that's where it comes out. So you can see now that's coming out as it should do. Also, I'll do a picture. The steps 
that one there is just a little bit loose on that fitting there and you can see where it's had some silicon at previous so that might be two clues it might be there it might have been just because that was blocked up or it could be that seal on that corner but it's somewhere on this corner right let's step inside tow bar I've just connected the mains electricity hook up uh, to see and we've for better lighting really for the video and pictures I've not connected a gas bottle I'm certainly not putting my name to gas safety on a 29 year old vehicle so you take your chances folks connect a gas bottle you're more than welcome to come and view connect a gas bottle poke around so yeah there's the bed above the cab she's nice and tidy all around all the cushions are nice and bright So, that's the issue. I would suggest it's started in here somewhere. I reckon in that corner somewhere, so you've got a little bit. It's not all the way down, this is quite solid. And that is not too bad, but a little bit softer. So I would suggest somewhere in that corner where it started. But unfortunately, it's just started to come here. It's not really wet as such but obviously it has creeped across and stained so that's the issue right let's get back to all the good news uh, yeah I've connected the electric mains is working that fridge is fridging up nice and dandy I've not put any water on it there's the winter it's obviously been winter drained there's the plug on just another note on the roof on this side just a little bit untidy here it, it's dry it's not perhaps it's had a, a previous little leak I don't know but certainly nothing to worry about three burner gas hob nice and clean and tidy oven grill lots oh what's going on, on here they've even left all the last bits and bobs and cutlery in oh there's lots of bits and bobs in here Toilet flush, bowl cleaner, fire extinguisher. Wine cabinet. So in all the side walls are all nice and dry, all nice and solid. No issues there. Nice and clean, presentable. And there's just a little stain here, don't know whether it's gonna show up on the camera. Well, it's certainly dry, so whether it's a previous something or other, I don't know. But there's a tiny little stain in there. But no, all the walls are dry. Roof's nice in the top. All good solid walls. Yep. No problem there. because the gas is not on but you're more than welcome we've got blinds that's a little bit stiff but it is working there another light there reading lights 12 volt supply so there you have it on auction with no reserve there is no buy it now price sometimes they make a little bit more on the auction sometimes they make a little bit less but generally the market dictates the correct price you can look on my feedback in fact I sold one of these a couple of months back that was a petrol contiki a couple of years old and you can see the price clearly that that fetched my name's Anthony Valentine the camper nerd I'm well known on YouTube for my YouTube camper nerd review channel just search YouTube or Google Camper Nerd, that'll find me. My number is 0798 526 1078 for any sensible questions. And what I mean by sensible questions is not, how much is it mate? What's the buy it now price? I'll come and pay you cash today. Good luck in the auction. So just a brief recap 
a 29 year old Swift Contiki 600 5 berth. She's MOT'd until next March, March 20. I'll try and track some service history down. But the last owner unfortunately has passed away. So there's not much paperwork trail I'm afraid. So we've just got a water ingress and damp issue to that corner above the toilet. But all in all, she's a good project for somebody to get ready for the season of 2020. Good luck in your bidding folks.